The chancery was put up for sale as part of the Archdiocese's bankruptcy settlement in the clergy sex abuse case. It's been the traditional residence and office for the Archbishop of Guam, but more importantly, it was where then-Pope John Paul II, now St. John Paul, stayed during his historic visit to Guam in February of 1981. The Phoenix Foundation was trying to raise $2.8 million to buy the property, says Foundation member and longtime local realtor Chris Felix. We put together this group to buy it in order to save the chancery, in order to allow the church to continue using it. And by putting it in under our name, it would avoid future any future lawsuits against the church, uh, the church from losing it ever again. They got a loan for about half the amount and raised another 500000 in donations. But with the extended deadline looming on October 17, they're about $300,000 short. Still, the foundation is grateful to the hundreds that donated. It was just amazing. So we were getting from $50 up to $100,000 donations. And uh, unfortunately, it just didn't add up. And I... You know, it's the sign of the times. I mean, people are hurting and, and, you know, I mean, they got to take care of themselves and their family first. The chancery property will go back on the open market per the bankruptcy order. Felix doesn't think another extension is viable and doesn't foresee any white knight investors stepping in at the last minute. I got some calls last night and a few wa- a few emails with ideas, but um, um, I really don't think so. Um, the church, um, the church, I think is, I think the chancery has moved on and accepted that they're going to have to move. And there is interested buyers. So, you know, we have to kind of step aside. I'm getting, kind of get the feeling the church needs some of those funds and it may be for the church's best interest that we step aside. Nestor Lecanto, KOAM News.